My name is James Williams Jr. This is Comfort Havoc number two. And if you've been watching, I've been getting it in and filming videos today. This is like binge videoing. So um, I was watching, uh, I think it was either Looper or something about comic book movies and things that people have gotten wrong and right about, like superheroes, like the X-Men and all that stuff. And you know, it made an interesting point. And I have to play devil's advocate about how they um, deviate from the comic book to kind of base stuff more in, in reality. And my towel isn't a thousand percent dry, but you know what? I don't give a damn. I think that if you're going to tell a story, especially like a superhero story, that you should never deviate completely from the origin of that story. I also think that if you're gonna make a superhero movie about superheroes, then you should do your everlasting everything you can by the might of Jesus Christ to tell the story correctly. I, I will give you a prime example. For those who have watched the very first Spider-Man movie with Tobey Maguire, which was good by the way, Although what I'm about to say is completely off base to you guys who watched the movie and to you guys who made the movie. I'm not knocking Tobey Maguire's uh, Spider-Man in a bad light. I'm just saying that um, Mary Jane Watson did not come into Spider-Man's life and was not the one that the Green Goblin threw off the GWB to die. That would have been Gwen Stacy. And... You know, henceforth, if you're going to tell the story, why didn't they just have, um, I forgot her damn name now, play Gwen Stacy? So when they rehashed it and they did it again with uh, Andrew Garfield and made him Spider Man and they did Gwen Stacy, they did more correctly, where you know it was more true to life. Also, they added the fact that what a lot of people didn't know is that Spider Man's parents. We're agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Of course, I don't know when that became lore or when it became candid, but apparently, Spider-Man's parents were indeed agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. You know, I think in the cartoon, Nick Fury might have uh, dowled in the telling Spider-Man that in the Ultimate Spider-Man cartoon. I'm not going to swear to that because that might be me working on disillusional information that is candid in comic book lore but has nothing to do with the MCU or the MCMU or the Marvel movie universe. I guess depending on how you look at it. But for comic book lore, not too long ago, they had revealed in the comic book before um, Disney acquired it and before 20th Century Fox acquired the Spider-Man rights to make movies and all that stuff that Peter Parker's parents were actually Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D which were accused of being double agents, we kind of found out they were actually triple agents and were never really going to betray the country. And Peter Parker actually did find them. I forgot how that story played out, but he did actually find them. And I'm, I'm one of these people because I am a comic book fan. I would prefer you to give me not so much as deviation, but more like collaboration and make everything that's in the lore in the movie. It doesn't have to be exact, but damn, get it as close enough to it so that the people who don't know Spider-Man's origin will actually know the real story and stuff like that instead of just throwing on what the fuck you guys think that we want to see. Because what we want to see is actually the origin without any strings attached. So, you know, if you're not going to do that, why make the movie in the first place? So, I'm going to write down a list of videos for movies that I think should be remade. I'm going to give you guys that report, and I want to know if you guys will agree with that. And that will be my next video. I'm James Williams Jr. This is Comfort Number 2. Be seeing you.